All right, I think I'm... Ghosts? I think I'm going to defer maintenance on the reverse position sensor because let's face it, when the guy comes, when I get the uh, cage put in, I'm probably going to drop the engine and tranny and basically like redo all the seals, redo all the fluids. And at that point, it'll be much easier to access that particular switch. And since I don't really plan on driving it till then. <sighs> all right, uh, I guess I'm back into weight reduction mode and uh, that means doing things like pulling the speakers out of the doors, figuring out what part of the uh, doors I have to leave behind to be legal. Because I'm not allowed to leave any exposed metal. Well, on the plus side, I was able to trace the uh, that weird antenna thing back here, and it looks like it's completely unplugged, so I don't even need to cut anything. I just... Give a good yank and uh, voila, it's out of the way. And let's face it, there is nothing that says I broke the clips on my speaker panel than a couple of uh, Phillips head screwdriver uh, screws straight through the grill. Compared to the opposite side where there are no screws holding this in, only the clips. I can probably safely pry this. Nope, shit. So much for that. Well, half these things are going in the waste bin anyway. I have to say, the pre-broken clips were much easier to get out. Well, if nothing else, I have an appreciation for why he broke the clips in the first place getting this in, and, uh... I am really glad that I don't have to put this back together. I can just break things as necessary. Torx bit. Phillips bit. And while I'm thinking about, uh... Screw heads, I should note that the speakers on the driver's side here are held in with flat heads and the speakers on the passenger side are held in with Phillips. I love it. And if it seems like I'm doing this kind of randomly, it's because I am doing this kind of randomly. I'm to work on whatever seems interesting at the moment and easy. Easy stuff done first, get the hard stuff done later. Motivated like them high school players. I know you remember those tight ends. Everything ain't always black and white. I'm still gonna get it going with this fight. Shining bright, can't dim this light. Diamond in the rough month made me tough. You stuck on luck manifesting. I say my prayers count blessings. Flashy, flashy, flashy. Ugh, another torque spit. I want to know if this is because I'm dealing with aftermarket fasteners and somebody who worked on their own car, or if Ford legitimately said, hey, yeah, no, it's a cool idea to like. Use three different screw types right here. The speakers, I'm sure, is somebody making changes to their own car, but this, this doesn't seem like something somebody would have to mess with, although I guess there's a couple loops of wire that I don't understand. Oh, not another one of those. What is it with people that don't want to snip their cable ties? Apparently the cutters on needle noses don't work nearly as well as dykes. I did buy a better pair of dykes. Bonus piece. 
didn't even go for that one. In case of a crash, there is a fuel cutoff, and this button <laughs> is uh, what resets it, and I expect to have to remember to use that one day. Now let's see if I can get super lucky and use this one. Yeah, that was... Well, that was easier than it should have been. Oh, hey. This is a drawer I never knew I had. Uh, I guess it's an ashtray, technically. We'll call that Euro spec. Nobody in America smokes. Uh, let me see here. What do I need to save? Probably these knobs. Do they come off the back of here? Alright. I think I'm going to have to go Google how to install that and then just reverse the instructions because I'm sure there's one simple trick that I just don't know. Five minutes later. So the instructions reference some kind of extraction key that I don't have, so I've had to improvise with a random piece of metal laying around in the garage. And it also references removing a trim piece that I don't think is actually on here. So uh, we're going to have to improvise in general. That's, uh, there are nuts. There are nuts that do not want to uh, make it out. That's maybe the real problem here. Aha, there we go. Only slightly broken. Uh, did I manage to? in the hopes that, uh, I don't know, maybe, I have to reread the regs because I think it said door cards are free, which means I don't necessarily need to put these back on there, which would be a tremendous weight savings. There we go. All right, well, that's easy. Or maybe I should just cut it because it has to be disabled, right? Jack, don't cut the red wire. All right, bomb diffused. Shoot the hostage, take him out of the equation. I have no idea where this screw actually came from. I'm gonna put it here today. Or I can just drop it in there, because screw it. <laughs> so two of these are flathead screws and two of these are bolts. There we go. What are these? Okay, they are actually plugged into as well. 
I was about to say they are actually plugged into a harness proper, but looking at the duct tape that's sealing them. Uh, let's see what's under here. All right. That's what was holding them in, and that's why they are duct taped. Well, whatever. Oh, shit. That was probably bad. Oh, this started to... Oh, that's why. Aha! I found you. Uh... You, found you, but where did my... Okay. Let's guess that's probably on six. Some sort of seven, right? Something that I don't have handy. It's probably American-sized. Some sort of... non-standard... SAE... Everything else on this is metric. It was built all over the world for the entire freaking EU, China, you know, you name it. Russia. I own a 930 seconds that is in between these two sizes, and uh, it's not in there. So I have to hope it's one of these. All right, first try. That's pleasant. I've had that happen in a long time. Watch this sucker pop right off. All right. Hey, look at all this insulation that I don't need. face it, what I'm really here for is this. Look, four screws all of the same type. Right, where's the duct? Oh! Looky here! Actual... Legitimate connector. Alright. This? this was the power lock, right? Anyway, at some point. That's the window. This is the power lock. And these are my types. Snippy, snippy. <laughs> That's funny. That's why I cut them one at a time last time so that it wouldn't detonate the bomb, so to speak. Not even eight pounds, okay. Eh, eight pounds for the door card. Now I'm going to realize that I, I wrote that down wrong, didn't I? Whatever. Close enough. Uh, people think that racing is all about driving fast, but a lot of it's about preparation and about attention to detail. And if I'm going to get down to that 2,200 pound goal, I can't just think about heavy things like the seats. I have to think about little things like these uh, fasteners in the door, you know. A couple grams here, a couple grams there, assuming we're talking about a pound. I, uh, I do have to update my weight goal, though, because for the 2023 season, uh, they decided to internationalize things, and now they're going to give us goal weights in kilograms. So, if nothing else, I did discover that pushing the plastic core did make this a little easier. Actually, I wonder if I had something thin to really push that down. That'd be even better. 
got. Do what I want. Maybe not. Oh yeah, that sounded good. That, that might actually come out without even. Hmm. All right. Just need to remember to collect him out of the bottom of the door. And at some point, I decided that it was worth it to put the extender slash quick change thing into my drill so that now I can more quickly change things out and also get in places that having the bit stick out this far could not previously get to. So that should make a much shorter work of this, I think. Or not. Oh, jeez. I had no handouts. I had to stand out. I was a man down. My luck had ran out. Under the water. Look how I swam out. The bigger picture. Look how I panned out. Now life is Oh, is there a missing... Missing... Connector of some sort? Oh. Nope. Okay. Just a matter of pulling it hard enough. And now fuck some the uh, connectors. All right. There's another four ounces. The one thing that did occur to me is that it will be easier to sort through footage if I actually spend a moment not recording me trying different sizes of socket on a nut, bolt, whatever fastener. I'm never going to be able to tell when I have my stroke. I'm just going to be like, I, 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 and they'll be like, oh, that's Kodak. That's, that's just what he's like. All right, anyway. Oh, that was easy. Uh, yeah, there we go. All right, so I'm back here at the fuse panel. Thanks to a uh, very unfortunate incident involving my son's rear left tire. We ended up having to rescue him using the F-150 and then that stopped working and it turned out that the problem was a fuse under the hood. It's 2011 so that generation there was a heating problem and fuses tended to melt. Uh, so I had to go rescue that and I haven't had a chance to work on the car in a little bit but it's made me really paranoid about the fuses and I just realized that I grabbed entirely the wrong size of fuse and that was entirely stupid so uh, let's go get the right size of fuse and come back all right so I decided it's because of all of the annoyance of fuses actually a little while ago even before I started blowing these fuses, I blew a headlamp fuse on the Lotus, and that was the last thing I checked. So, I decided that I would get these fancy fuses that light up when they blow. Uh, I should be able to replace most of these. There's quite a lot of seven and a halfs here, though, and my little multi-pack that I bought the first time around uh, doesn't have a seven and a half in it, so I'm going to have to go back and find some seven and a halfs and have them delivered, or unless I can find them locally, in which case I can go ahead and take care of things. I also brought the owner's manual out because part of weight reduction is taking off every last little bit of uh, weight that you can. And uh, if that means I lose a gram with every single fuse, I am, uh, Nothing if not relentless. And we're going to replace all of the ones that I need with these glow when they blow. Why do I have backup lamps for automatic transmission fuse in here? And backup lamps for manual transmission as a separate fuse. And I have fuses in both. Power locks on backside of fuse. How am I gonna reach that? 
Well, here's what the fuse box looks like. Here's the pile of fuses. Actually, it's not the whole pile of fuses. I kept a couple spares of sizes that I don't currently have. And that's probably enough for this time. In the meantime, good night and good news. And inexplicably, here it is in my bedroom.